www.pondscape.us. This is January 2010 or 2010, however you want to say it. And here's our convict cichlid slash guppy tank. I think the way the pump pushes those little particles of plant down is pretty cool. But, um, you can see our survivors from the last batch of babies right there, but this female has more. I want to see if I can get up close here. The babies are free swimming. I'm going to try to get a good shot. I Hopefully you can see them. I can see them pretty well on this little screen. And I can see them with my eyes, obviously. Hopefully they come out uh, on the video just as good. I wish I could zoom in closer, but I can't. There's a mother taking care of her babies. There's at least a hundred of them. Of course, when you have a big environment, the males start to get big and pretty like that they go from your more dull gray to um, like a almost like a purplish blue their fins get nicer their body becomes fancier whereas the females they seem to get a bit bigger but as of yet they don't really transform they go more to the more to the blue side than the gray, but they're still kind of half in the gray. And um, the, their body structure really doesn't get all that uh, spectacular from um, from what you would normally expect of a convict, like the males do. Ironically, in most fish, it's the the males that look the prettiest. Whereas with humans, it's the females that look the prettiest. Well, there's the father fish. He's holding the fort for the moment. So uh, we have guppies and stuff in here, like I said. Now let's give this disclaimer, don't try this at home. Because um, guppies and convicts don't normally uh, get along with each other. Guppies are very docile, convict cichlids are incredibly aggressive. So... Unless you really know how to get them to cooperate like we do, do not try this at home. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of dead guppies. And even knowing how to do this, you're still taking a risk. Because, you know, fish are 
as independent as a person is in their choices, and you can't directly control them. So, if they've been deciding to, uh, you know, play nice for the long run, but then they just suddenly change their minds for no apparent reason and decide to make a snack of uh, most of the guppies, then uh, they will. <laughs> you know, they're, they're animals. They've been known to do things like that. So, you know, still potentially, if one of these... Uh, convict cichlids change their mind and instead of accepting these guppies as a part of their surrounding environment decided to accept those guppies as a, a part of its food source <laughs> then that's it all these guppies could be gone tomorrow no way to know just the passage of time That's the other male. He's a smaller male, but he'll get as formed out as the other one. You can already tell he's got the purple. And there's a female. Um, she's got the orange on her belly, which means she's uh, got eggs and she's staying over by that pot. So I think she has every intention of breeding. I love this, the way the pump pushes that stuff down. All that is actually coming from up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see this alright. We got some of this little floaty green crap. You can see how the pump just uh, disperses it down. Alrighty, www.ponskink.us. <laughs>